Are we rolling? I think so. Welcome. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back, my friends, to the Pokemon Go Let's Play series. If you don't know this series, it is the series here on the channel where we just play Pokemon Go casually. We have fun. Um, we chill. We do some raids. All that stuff. No pressure. Just enjoying the game purely. Now, I will say today, though, it's not going to be the most casual because we're doing something pretty exciting, something you guys know if you watched last week. Um, you guys know about it, which is actually going to be catching our Shadow Kyogre. Ooh, Hidden Ultra Friends, nice. Um, yes, Shadow Kyogre. I have myself the um, researches here, the a bunch of researches. I've actually stacked three of the Black Rocket Radars. So we can do up to three. I think I'm only going to do one today, though. Um, but yeah, it should be fun. So if you're interested in that, come along for the ride, and uh, let's get into it. Ooh, we got another... Oh, we're getting all the friendship bonuses today. Okay, well, nonetheless, today, before we get into, um, actually, before I say that, first thing I want to say is that there's a special strategy we're actually going to be outlining today that I've actually never really talked about on the channel, but so pretty much you can stack four, or you can stack Black Rocket Radars. I've talked about that before, but if you actually intend to um, battle Giovanni and get the shadow um, raid boss he has, and you have other researches stacked, there's a way to actually just get those radars into your inventory for completely free. And then that's something we're going to be talking about today um, because I feel like I've just never had like a video format where I can really explain that. Um, but first, I want to show you guys where we are today, which is here at Hogwarts. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. We're not at Hogwarts. We are at <laughs> City Hall. I know every week I said I'm going to be going to a different location generally a park to show you guys where to play um and this week i was like you know what what's a very important spot in ottawa you know that that i've played a lot at that's had a lot of significance to me and of course that is going to be downtown you know down any time anyone asks me what is the best place to play um pokemon go downtown is right away like let me show you guys this here actually like downtown is just always just going to have the most amount of stops. It's going to have the most amount of things going on. And it's going to be where the player base is at. So today, in honor of, um, you know, showing you guys a new spot every single one of these episodes today, we are downtown. Specifically, we're at City Hall, which City Hall is insanely amazing for Pokemon Go. Um, because I, I don't know why, really. I think it's mainly because of, you see, these four... We're going to go over here, but these five stops here create, like, some insane cluster spawns. I don't know why, but it's just, this place creates insane cluster spawns, so that's pretty much why this place is the best, but I'm going to go ahead and finish shiny checking here, and then we're going to get into it. We got a lot to do today, because we got to go ahead and get our Black Rocket Radar, and then we got to battle Giovanni, we also got to answer the Q&A questions from last episode, and we got to do some rate um, my shinies, because that is two new segments here. We've added two, two, I don't know, I'm being dramatic. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and take these down, or catch these, take these down. Why did I say take these down? It is about, by the way, temp check, temp check. First of all, we're back in this jacket. We don't have the zebra jacket this time. I was almost considering bringing a different jacket and then like every single episode wearing a completely different jacket, but uh, I was like, no, I don't, I don't have that many jackets. <laughs> okay, let's catch these. But yeah, um, temp outside is about about zero one degree so not bad again still gray skies as you can see very ugly i find like winter in ottawa is the most unsaturated thing like there's it's like if you know god took the saturation and just zoom it's like shiny garchomp and shiny gengar both of them are just desaturated that's what ottawa is like Oop, i kicked this in okay nonetheless we got to talk about what we got to do here we got to talk about the strategy i'm talking about which let's go into our special research story and let me explain stuff. Okay, so as you can see here, I have on page one, the, these three things. Okay, so shadowy skirmishes, shadowy disturbance, and showdown in the shadows. These are the past three Giovanni special research stories. Let me zoom this in a bit, actually. Actually, maybe, no, I'm not gonna brighten it up, whatever. These are the past three Giovanni special research stories. All of these get me a Black Arcade Raider. Now, if you've watched the channel before, you know the strategy here is to not go past page one. You can claim things on page one, but if you don't go past page one, you won't go ahead, at, or you will go ahead and get the next Giovanni research. But if you go past page one, 
Pokemon Go will look at that special research and be like, that's in progress. You have to finish that before I can give you another Black Arcet Radar. It's kind of like tricking the mind of Pokemon Go. Now, something you might have noticed, and in my video I actually didn't even know this until like a couple days ago, but this time when Shadow Kyogre came out, we didn't get another one of these researches. Usually it has the word shadowy. I think they all have the word shadowy. Or shadow or shadowy. Um, but we didn't get one of those. What we did get, though, is more pages of this. The Timeless Travels Season Research, which is the research that gets you the Black Arcet Radar. Sometimes Niantic does this. I think they did this during the Season of Mischief as well, where um, the Black Rocket Radar um, is only available through, like, a season research. And then, like, as, you know, as the season goes on, they unlock more and more pages. This one, for example, is 14 pages long. I don't know why I'm talking so fast. <sighs> Running out of breath. <laughs> This one is 14 pages long, but yeah, so pretty much what they've done is added more pages to this, and I believe it's like on page like 11 or 12, you get the Black Rocket Radar, something like that. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, so what I'm going to do here is what I'm actually going to do, and this is the strategy I'm talking about, is how to claim those Black Rocket Radars. You're going to see it as I do it, but claim those Black Rocket Radars into your inventory, because I know some people are sometimes scared that they're going to go ahead and take away your researches. Like, what if like one day I log in and all these are gone? I don't think that's ever going to happen, but... You know, if you're scared of that, if you plan on battling Giovanni and getting his radar or getting his Pokemon, this is a strategy you can do. So what we're going to do here is, I know we're going to do the, oh my God, don't do it. We're going to go ahead and claim all of this. Got ourselves a Helioptal. But pretty much we want to start these researches. We want to get them going. We want to get them rolling. It'd be cool if we got a shiny in all this research as well. That would be nice. Okay, so let's uh, claim this. Claim number two. Just a lot of Healy Up tiles. Um, okay. So, yeah, that's going to be the first one. We're going to go to page two. I'm going to explain to you guys in a second why I'm doing this, but let's go ahead. Shadowy Disturbance. We're going to claim those two. We're going to claim this. I love claiming things, you know? Isn't it so fun? You just get things. Usually they suck, though. Like, how was that an excellent throw? That was not an excellent throw. Okay, Professor Willow. Does anybody here, by the way, in chat ever read what Professor Willow says? Personally, I've never. Professor Willow, like, you know, he's like my, my math teacher. I never listen to, I'm kidding. Stay in school, kids. <laughs> okay, we got a, a phantom here. Gonna go ahead and catch that bad boy. Professor Willow, again, don't care what you're doing. And then finally, I'm gonna claim this one, the uh, Timeless Travels Research. Okay, so this is page nine of it. If you're further behind, you have to make sure you get all the way up here for that strategy, but I'll explain here what I'm doing, sorry. I know this is taking forever. This is already a 10 minute clip, whatever. This, vid this video is supposed to be long, okay. Um, okay, so pretty much what happens here is you're gonna see that all of the uh, researchers have the exact same tasks. And this is something Niantic's done, or at least very similar tasks. This is something Niantic's done is that all the Shadow Giovanni researchers, for some reason, they're always like similar tasks. So what you wanna be doing here is making sure that you're always on like the same like page, for example, you know, I'm on page two, page two, page two, because as you complete the task for one of the researches, you'll also be doing the other research. It's kind of like combining the effects and just making it go down faster. So pretty much what you can see here is I have to catch 15 Pokemon for this research. I have to do the same thing for this research. This one, Shadowy Skirmishes, is a little bit different. I have to catch shadows and purify shadows and defeat Team Rocket Grunts. Um, and then the top one, oh yeah, the top one is the exact same. So pretty much what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna try to go through all four of those researches all four of those researches at the same time and that's pretty much the goal so we have to transfer 10 pokemon which we can do right now and then actually first thing we're going to do is battle two grunts so we have to battle six grunts first let's go ahead and start battling some grunts you're going to be frozen in your tracks a great grunt by the way if you're watching this video and you are curious what grunts you can get and what shadows you can get from grunts right now check out my video posted on the channel like this last week to be honest i'm thinking about this at this point this strategy I'm about to explain, it's probably not going to be as relevant for most of you because most of you have probably already caught your Shadow Kyogres and kept your researches to stack them, but you know what? For next time, when Shadow Groudon comes out, this is going to be useful for you. I'm sorry, okay? I live a slow life. I can't keep up with... It's actually kind of insane, like, to think how fast Pokemon Go moves. Like, if I don't make a video about something, the next day there's something new coming out. This game is incredibly fast-paced. It's hard to just slow down, you know, and just chill. You know, just have some chill vibes. Okay, easy dub here for the kid, because, you know, uh, 
I'm the best battler in all of Ottawa. I'm the best trainer. Yo, we out here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, chill, Dex. Um, <laughs> okay, one grunt down. We have to battle six grunts. So you see, it's going to say defeat one grunt. They're all getting updated, but they're all getting updated at the same time. And that's like the strategy here. Or that's part of the strategy here is you want to you go ahead and use, I guess, like one grunt to complete six tasks at once, you know? And that's going to be the same thing with the Giovanni. We're going to battle Giovanni only once, but we're going to complete all the Giovanni tasks. You'll understand. Okay. Shadow Snover sucks. Let's battle this other grunt. It is still the timeless, or not the timeless travels. It is, what's the event called? Taken Treasures event. Interesting name for an event. I guess like Team Rocket takes treasures. It's a Taken Treasures event right now. So uh, we have a bunch of extra grunts appearing. And also that means you can remove frustration, which is something I hope I remember to do. I know I'm saying it right now, but in all honesty, I'm probably gonna forget to remove frustration from my Shadow Kyogre, because I'm just that kid. I'm just that guy. Okay, easy dubs here for the kid. Again, this is not the, like, like we talked about last time uh, on this, uh, people are staring at me. <laughs> like we talked about last time on this channel, it's not the best idea to always go with like the charge move heavy damage Pokemon versus Grunts, but this is what we're doing for now. I think the best thing to take down an Electric Grunt would be like a Shadow Rhyperior with Mud Slap. Something like that would do a lot of damage. But now I have to use like two charge moves to take down this uh, thing. Easy dubs. Easy dubs for the kid. Let's go. Good night, Galvi. Galvantron in the shadow form looks pretty scary. Let's be honest. All shadow Pokemon look cooler than regular Pokemon. Is there one shadow Pokemon that looks worse than in its regular form? I don't think that's true. I guess Venonat would be the only one because, like, it doesn't really change. Okay, defeat Grunts. Easy. We get ourselves a shadow Joltik. Noise. Quick catch. Let's check the IVs on it. PvP. Shadow Galvantula coming out in the Electric Cup next time. Okay, but as you can see here, we defeated two grunts. That, that completed all that. Okay, so let's uh, transfer 10 Pokemon now. Uh, I should probably four-star check. Oh, that Aeron was a hundo. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, and <laughs> that's so funny. Because I was literally, as I was catching this, I remember saying, these things are usually trash. I also got a hundo Alolan Meowth. Bro, what is with this? Two hundo researches? This was yesterday, though. Two hundo Pokemon from research and a hundo Meryl. When did I catch this? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> chat. Apparently, I'm getting all the hundos. This was probably the auto catcher. Grab this. Three new hundos today. That's I. I was almost gonna transfer that that air on. <laughs> I was this close. Okay, well, let's just hope none of these are like average IVs. It's alright. I don't really care anyway. Okay, transfer ten. But as you can see there, that's gonna go ahead and complete this transfer ten. It's gonna complete this transfer ten. It's going to complete this transfer 10. This one doesn't have a transfer 10. This has a Purify 2 Pokemon, though. So let's uh, purify this Snover. I should probably be purifying Pokemon that cost 1,000 dust to purify, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm too Stardust rich for that, you know? I got that, I got that Stardust, bro. We rich on that dust. We got a Zubat. That's terrible. This one's 1,000. Let's purify that. Okay. So pretty much now we need to go ahead and try to find uh, some grunts here. Just look how, look at this place, man. Look at this place. Doesn't it look like Hogwarts? Kind of does. Okay, so that should complete that, right? So now we need to catch more Shadow Pokemon, defeat more grunts, catch more Pokemon. I'm going to go ahead and put on the Auto Catcher here. Let me, okay, good. Yeah, we're going to put on the Auto Catcher to do the catching Pokemon for us. I'm just going to go ahead and use regular incense. I'll save my daily incense for later. Now what I want to do, though, is go over to that spot in City Hall. So we're going to go ahead and walk over there. Um, and then uh, we're going to defeat more. Well, there's no shot. Actually, there's no grunts that way. We're not going to go that way. We're going to go to that street corner because there's two grunts that way. So let's go there. I'll see you there in a second. We're going to battle some more grunts. Peace. If you ever gonna let me know, yeah Suicide, if you ever try to let go, uh I'm sad, I know, yeah I'm sad, I know, yeah Who am I? Someone that's afraid to let go, uh You decide if you ever gonna let me know, yeah
yeah Suicide if you ever try to let go, uh I'm sad and know, yeah I'm sad and know, yeah Guy gave her everything she Oh my god I didn't get it on camera because I was shooting these shots, but Got a shiny iggly buff. I didn't even notice it because it looks so similar. But uh, that's pretty fun. I think that's officially our first ever shiny on this, uh, on this series. I didn't even catch it. Oh well, we're getting everything today. I somehow have three hundos and a shiny. Okay, well nonetheless, we are in almost range of uh, two more grunts. Let me see if I can put the camera in a better spot. One second, okay. There you go, that's better. We are in range of two more grunts, so let's go ahead and battle them. Hopefully, they're gonna be good stuff. Battle against my flying type Pokemon. That is actually good, because that could get us a shiny shadow. It could get us a shiny shadow Gligar. It's probably not. Yeah, it's gonna be a shadow Starly, but still. I'm really though, I'm really happy shadow Gligar is back in the flying grunts. I think, well, if you guys don't know Fixer Slayer, he's been in some of the videos, he's a local here, but his favorite Pokemon is Gligar. And I think he's kind of been, I don't know if he's watching this, because if he's watching this, he'll probably send me a message, but he's been kind of selling me on the Gligar. It's a cool Pokemon. Gligar is a cool Pokemon. It's got a cool typing as well. I'm, I'm, I really love ground and flying type Pokemon. I, you know what I love? This is, I think I've realized I love. I love Pokemon with typings that like shouldn't make sense. Like I love Grimmsnarl, which is not in Pokemon Go yet, but if you don't know, it's a fairy and dark type Pokemon which doesn't make sense. How do you be a fairy, but then also a dark? And that's why I love flying and ground, because like, how do you be on the ground, but then also flying, you know? So I just love Pokemon with like those typings that just like a fire and water type for me, that's so cool. Like how? How are you a fire and water type? That makes no sense. Nonetheless, that's gonna be a Shadow Starly. Be cool if we got a Shadow Hundo. Be cool if we got a lot of things, let's be honest, but uh you think you're a hero, I am a hero. Okay, we got a fairy grunt, that should be pretty easily. I'm standing in the snow right now. Bruh. Bruh, I'm standing in the snow. Okay, this is actually, uh, eh. Oh, this thing's got ice fang. I'm okay, we're gonna swap here. What I wanna say though, is once we do finish these six grunts, which we should be able to finish shortly, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the first section, the first segment the Q&A, because I was actually looking through and there were so many great questions this week. So many great questions. Some questions were too good. The questions were too good. I didn't even know like, like you could ask a question that good. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Okay, nine tails, you're dead. Now there is a, a grunt around the corner. So I might go run there and then run back, but I'm kind of scared to leave the camera right here. We'll see, maybe I'll do that. Okay, down goes the grunt, no worries. 500 Stardust, a mysterious component. Hey, we got a rocket radar, which is gonna be very useful for the next part of this video. Or the next, the next part of the research. There it is, Mawile. This can be a shiny shadow, so that's pretty cool. I actually think if I got like a purifiable Hundo Mawile, I would probably do it, just because I still need a Hundo Mawile. Okay, that's um, Catch 10, po by the way, my auto catcher finished the Catch 15 Pokemon task. So we can claim that. Now all we gotta do is defeat two more grunts. Sierra just spawned right here. This is a grunt. Oh, we can reach it from here. Okay, that's, don't even have to move. Let's go ahead and take down this grunt and then we gotta find one more. Also, hopefully that, that thing is not annoying you, but it's like making a, a making a, a sizzle noise. Oh my God, that guy just almost backed his car back up into somebody else's. That's crazy. Okay, shot of shield on. Pretty easy to take down. I will say the rock run is can, can be confusing sometimes because there's a lot of Pokemon that could be rock and steel. So I think versus the rock run or rock and grass, it might be better to just bring fighting type Pokemon instead of grass types. And there's a couple grunts like that too that have that. Like I think the water grunt sometimes, if you bring a grass type, sometimes they'll have like a water ice type and then it gets kind of, yeah, it gets kind of confusing. Oh, they got the shadow bastion on. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here. Whatever. Down goes Shadow Bastion on. And then I have to find one more grunt. I don't know where I'm gonna find this other grunt. Has anyone tried Shadow Bastion in PvP? I feel like it wouldn't be as good as regular Bastion, just based on the 
the bulk it loses, right? Bastiodon is strong because of how tanky it is. Shadow Shield on. Oh, you know what else I actually have to, I'm working on right now? Uh, the Taken Treasures research here. This one. Oh, we, fin we almost finished it. The, the Taken Treasures timed research, the paid one, I think. This one actually gets you, doesn't this get you a really cool pose that I wanted? Oh, I should actually try to finish this, eh? Yeah, there's that really cool pose that I was tweeting about wanting a lot. And then, like, when the event started, I just completely forgot. Let's see. When do we get the pose? Do we get it now? Purify, defeat 10 rocket grunts? Bro, I don't think I'm going to finish this. I'll try. 10 grunts is a lot of grunts. Ooh, Sableye. I'm actually going to stack this because this gets you boosted Stardust, so we'll catch that later on a two times dust event. Okay, there is a grunt in that direction. So I'm going to go in that direction, and we're going to finally finish this. I'll see you in a second. Okay. Okay, we're here. Getting windy out here a bit. It's getting a little chilly and windy. Look at this nice building. Beautiful. Okay, sorry. Distracted. Final grunt. Let's see what it's going to be. Poison Grunt can get us a Shadow Shiny Coughing. This is literally crooked. Shadow Shiny Coughing, please. No, it's a Krogunk. Krogunk's actually very good. Um, I actually forgot to mention this in my video about the Shadow Shinies. Shadow Toxicroak, number one poison type raid attacker. Really, really high DPS, better than Nyligo even. Now, granted, I will say, um, what's that, Eternatus, and then there's the other one, N Nagladel. I don't know how to, I don't know how to, to, to name Pokemon. Na Nagladel or something, something like that. Um, it's uh, gonna be like, I think it's like a legendary poison type. If it gets a good moveset, I could see it overtaking Toxicroak. But still, I wouldn't mind a Shadow Toxicroak. Bro, Amoongus is just eating up a Psy Strike from a Mewtwo like it's nothing. Yo, Amoongus, chill. Daddy, chill. <laughs> okay. Dax, chill. That's what we gotta say. Okay. Finally done. And this is where the strategy comes in. Oh my god, did it just start snowing? Oh, that's bad news. Is it gonna start snowing? Please don't start snowing. Or did the weather... Oh, the weather just became snowy. But it's not snowing in real life. That's a good thing. Okay. Egg number one, egg number two. Not a shiny Iggly buff this time. I still can't believe we got that. Are the IVs good? No. Okay, um... So, pretty much what this means now is you'll see all of these researches are going to be done um, all together. So, what we can do is we can claim all this. Oh, you actually get a bunch of mysterious components. And then we also get radars from these. So, we're going to go ahead and complete these. What's up, Re? Oh, this is such an old one that it was from Re. We'll complete this. You get a Graveler. Thank you, Graveler. I love completing research. I know I said this earlier, but isn't this just so satisfying? Complete your mask. Your mask. Where are your mask? Done. And then this one. Shadow skirmishes. Done. Okay, so now if I back out, what you'll see here is that every single one of these researches is on the exact same page. They are all on the page where you have to defeat Arlo, Cliff, and Sierra. All four of them. So what we can do is just defeat Arlo, Cliff, and Sierra once each, and we're going to complete four researches at once which is amazing. So what we have to do is we have to find them. I have rocket radars. I know there was a Sierra that way and there's more rockets and there's one that way. So we're gonna go back to where we were and then we're gonna go ahead and defeat whoever we can over there and then we'll go to the main spot of City Hall. Actually, hold up. We just got a leader from a balloon maybe? Yes, we did. Okay, we don't have to move. Let's do this Arlo first. We can do that Sierra and then all we gotta do is find a cliff. Okay, so Arlo, here you go. Bag on, obviously. We do love uh, Shadow. We do love Arlo right now. I saw a lot of people commenting on my video. It's kind of funny. They say, ended friendship with Cliff, new friendship with Bag on. Or, <laughs> new, <laughs> yeah, new friendship with Bag New friendship with Arlo. Kind of funny. Okay. I actually haven't really set up my parties for this, but I will say, you could honestly beat the leaders with any single Pokemon as long as you know how to properly throw your moves. So you see, this is a Golurk here, which isn't great, but what we can do is make sure that after every charge move, before every, after your opponent throws every charge move, after every switch, you want to throw a couple fast moves 
because it will get you a bit of extra energy here. You see, they, they oh my God, we almost died of that. But you, you know, they take a little bit of time to actually throw their fast move. Um, and this is called stun locking. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna farm up to three and then I'm gonna swap here, save, save the Blaziken with the Blast Burn and we're gonna come with T-Tar. Now T-Tar is gonna get three shots, but since I did that, I now have the Blast Burn or I can throw two and then throw the Blast Burn here. Now granted, if Arlo is not weak to fighting in the back, we might be in trouble fighting a rock, but usually Arlo has in the back like a Caesar, so. Oh, he's got, oh, this is gonna be dicey actually. I love how I was just saying you you literally can never lose to our. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I don't have. I don't have. <laughs> I take back what I said. You can lose to the leaders. <laughs> okay, now we know what his team is, though. Now we know what his team is, though. So we should be able to beat it. <laughs> That's my bad. That's my bad. I, I'll take that. I'll take that blame. I'll take that blame. Okay, we definitely want to bring an ice type because uh, we can KO two of his mons. Actually, we just bring three ice types. He's triple weak to ice there, right? He's weak to, Bagon's weak to ice, Golurk's weak to ice, Salamence is weak to ice. <sighs> oh, this is not even a fully, it's all right. We're gonna swap here. This Bagon does have a fire move though. We should be able to farm down before they farm down though, which is good. The bell's going off behind me. I think it's for the school. Okay, take down this. Again, you don't have to charge the bubbles. This is something I see, you'll see new players do, is that, remember, um, the leaders will always shield the first two moves you throw at them, so there's literally no, unless you wanna like practice getting your bubbles in, there's literally no point in throwing, in doing the bubbles. There's no point. Okay, go lurk. We'll throw this here. Now the Salamence does have Fire Fang, which is not the greatest for us, but we should be able to still take it out, honestly, with potentially just fast moves. No, I think we're gonna get destroyed here. Okay, this is actually kind of dicey. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to, this is what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna wait on my switch clock so I can switch. I love how I'm thinking so much about this. I'm gonna throw a couple moves. We're gonna see how much these fire fangs do. I'm gonna swap here just because I wanna make sure I get to that avalanche. I don't think I'm gonna need it though. I think we're just gonna be able to farm down. Bro, how did that get so, how did it get so close? Arlo came ready to fight. He was ready to fight because he had those, those fire moves. Okay, down goes Arlo. Can we get a shiny shadow bag on? No, we cannot. The hundo for this is two, I think chat was saying is like 260 or something. I actually got a really good one yesterday. Okay, so that should be one of the tasks, right? Defeat Arlo, yes, beauty. No trash, okay, now I'm gonna go to the Sierra. We're gonna do the Sierra right now. We'll be right back. Hello, 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 hello. My legs, ah, ah. My legs hurt so much. This uh, marathon training, this marathon training has kind of been uh, beating me up a bit. Just a tad. Okay, we found a Sierra. The other one that was there was an Arlo I saw. So we're gonna have to find a cliff, but uh, we can beat Sierra pretty easily. I know Sierra is really weak to electric this time around, from what I remember. Cause she has the tentacle. I know she can have like the Milotic. She can have just a lot of things weak to electric. So we're just gonna come in. We have the Shadow Magnazone, which is probably the best option. I think it's actually the highest damage per second electric type. Cause I know Volt Switch is the highest damage move. I thought the guy was talking to me. Um, I know Volt Switch is the highest damage move and I think Magnazone, I guess actually a Shadow Raikou with Volt Switch would probably be better, but we don't have that, so. Nonetheless, we're gonna go ahead and shield the bubble beam. Damn, bro, we're out here getting debuffed by Sierra? Sierra's out here baiting us with the bubble beam. Yeah, a lot of things weak to, to, to electric. We just a haunch crow here. Go ahead and throw two volt switches. I believe two volt switches is eight turns if you know PvP lingo. Um, and I think that the, the, the stun lock thing that, that the leaders have is 
I think it's six turns actually, maybe. Is it six or eight turns? They, they don't throw a move, they don't start attacking for six turns or eight turns, one of the two. Okay, down goes you, and then in the back she has the Houndoom. We're gonna go ahead and soften it up here and then easily finish it off with the Machamp. Sierra loves her Houndoom. She has like a romantic relationship with the Houndoom. She, it's literally always, it's always there. It's her favorite Pokemon. But guess what, Machamp loves Houndoom too because he loves to, ooh, just ooh, ooh, ooh. Cut that, cut that. <laughs> Actually, maybe I should. <laughs> I'm kidding, chat. Sierra loves, is, is not a, is an animal lover. She's not like Team Rocket. Oh, actually she is Team Rocket. I'm digging myself a hole. Um, shiny shadow check, not it gonna be it. Not expecting it to be it, to be honest, but still. I, I just need to do these so that we can finish these tasks. Go ahead and clean that. IVs, not great. But you'll see here, all of them have come finished. Now we have to just do the cliff. But before we do the cliff, let's get into the new segment. Questions with Dax. It'd be nice if I put like a little music. Let's do it again with the music. Questions with Dax. I really like that title. Someone, let's try to, let's, let's see if we can get a better title going. Q&A with Pokey Daxy. Oh, these, these are terrible. Okay, whatever. You know, you guys understand what's going on here. We're gonna go ahead and answer some of your questions that were asked on the last video. So let's get into the comments section here and let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Oh, there's actually something I wanna shout out. Some, uh, Ryan commented this. Fun fact about shiny Pokemon before X and Y. Shiny Pokemon were not designed per se, but instead just a palette swap. There's basically a limited number of sprite ga palettes for the Game Boy. So that's actually pretty interesting. And then somebody like said, no, that's incorrect. But you know, we're just gonna say that's correct because that's kind of a fun fact. That's kind of a fun fact. Okay. Okay, question. Let me see if I can find the first question. This guy said, this is perfect to, to watch in the background and I'm throwing around the weights. Yo, love to hear it. Okay, that's not a question though. Where's, do we have any questions? Did anybody ask a question? Question, do you edit your own videos? And if you do, what editing software do you use? Great question from Kurt. Question answered is, <laughs> why did I say it like that? Um, okay, so I used to edit my own videos a lot. All, from The videos from 2020 to 2022 were all edited by me. Um, and then I took on uh, my first editor, Becky, if you guys know her. She's been editing with us since 2022, I believe. Might have, no, I don't think it was 2021. I think it was 2022. And then in 2023, we took on our second editor, um, Brayden. Now those are the people who do the long form videos. Becky will edit the tips and tricks and news types of videos while Brayden does all of those like crazy challenges, you know, the one in the helicopter, those catch challenges we do at the GoFest. That's what Brayden edits. We also have a PG who does all the shorts editors. So we have a separate editor for the shorts and then we have Dennis who does the thumbnails. So we have a full team here. Shout out to the whole team. Um, for helping out, but I will say I still sometimes do edit certain videos. Sometimes I'll hop in, edit a tips and tricks video or edit a different type of video just because, you know, first of all, I want to keep my skills fresh for editing. And then also just sometimes, you know, my editors are busy and there's just a lot of work to be done. So the question though, the second question, what editing software do you use? I use Premiere Pro. Um, that's the main editing software I use. I know all of my editors use Premiere Pro as well. Um, actually, I think PG uses Final Cut, but yeah. We uh, mostly, uh, mostly all use uh, Premiere Pro. So yeah, that's a uh, question answered. Thank you for the, the question. We have another question. Um, my question, how should someone address if they should when somebody says a Pokemon name incorrectly? I noticed you said Rayquaza correctly based on what was said in the anime. I now have my way of saying it. I believe a person should really be comfortable not like Pokemon are real. This is actually, this is one of the questions. I actually answered this. I'm not gonna look at what I answered this, but let me re-answer it. This is a very interesting question because there's a lot of people I know who also say Pokemon names incorrectly. I say Pokemon names incorrectly. I think at, at the end of the day, if you are able to respectfully go to a person and tell them that they're incorrect, there's, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So like if I say Rayquaza, which is not the correct way of saying it, you're supposed to say Rayquaza, if you go at somebody and be like, oh, you're so stupid, bro. like, why are you calling it Rayquaza? You're so dumb. Like, that's never the way to address that. But if you say like, hey man, by the way, it's actually pronounced Rayquaza, 
And then from there, it's up to them if they want to pronounce it correctly or not. But at the end of the day, this is something I've learned over my years, over my years, over my 23 years. Wow, so many years. <laughs> when you're trying to convince somebody of something or just make an argument or prove a point, it's never good to come at them like aggressively because then they'll just get defensive. If you start calling them names or stupid or like this is not how you say it, like can you do some research? Like, I'm, like the person's not going to respond positively. But if you just tell them the facts, be like this is how you say it, and then, and then leave it up to them to say it or not, they can make the conscious decision whether they want to like agree and start doing it correctly or not, you know? It's just something I thought about. Like, you know, like let's say you're trying to convince somebody of something like to go watch a movie that you want to watch and they want to watch this other movie. Instead of saying like, you're dumb, we shouldn't watch your movie. Be like, hey, we should watch my movie. This is why. And then you let them, like people will always be more convinced of something if they themselves decide like feel like they decided themselves and you didn't force it onto them. I don't know. That's just a ramble. But I think that's the best way to do it is just be like, let them know because I think it's very important for people to know the correct pronunciations. Um, but then at the end of the day, if they want to pronounce, if you want to pronounce it Rayquaza, I have no problem with that. I, as long as I understand it, it's fine, you know? As long as I understand it, it's fine. And then I think sometimes you, it's funny. You can get like a good laugh out of somebody pronouncing something wrong. Okay, great question though. Let's, uh, let's move on. Do, uh, do, 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 do. Question, what would your ideal community Pokemon be and what bonus? Ooh, that's a great question. A lot of my ideal comedy Pokemon have already passed, but personally, I would love a Sandile community. I know the Shiny's not out yet, and I think they're probably going to release the Shiny during some Team Rocket event, but I would love a uh, Shiny Sandile Calm Day with probably the bonus of like three times Catch Dust. If, if there was like a bonus that wasn't in Pokemon Go or something that's like less popular that they could do, it'd be cool to get like... I don't know, like XL rare candies dropping from catches. Like that would be a cool bonus to get, but that's not really a calm day bonus. If we're just talking calm day bonuses, I'd probably say three times catch dust because you can't. You can't really uh, you can't really beat three times catch dust. Question, what app do you use for your screen recorder? I use the built-in screen recorder. I'm usually on phones. If you scroll down, there's like a screen recorder, as you can see here. Um, so like most phones have it. I think iPhones have it. I think most phones nowadays have a built-in screen recorder. So just use that. It's going to be better than any other app. Um, hey Dax, I have a question from Quackers. How would you deal with living in rural areas where the community doesn't really interact with each other? Like Shadow Hole Raid Weekend was horrible for me. I only managed to get one. Tried joining local Facebook groups, but only generally people play together anymore. Love your videos. Can't wait for more. This is a great question. A hard one to answer as well. If your local community is just not willing to really interact and get out the number one option is just like keep trying to to to, to foster it you know keep planning meetups and like although even if you get like one or two people coming like just keep fostering and getting trying people to join that's probably number one option number two option is probably i don't know go try to find like a, a city near you that that has a community and go to it but like it's pretty tough when people really don't want to interact and don't have that. At the end of the day, you're kind of limited on where you live on how, you know, I guess like open the community is to going out. But I would say just like keep at it, keep at it because it really only takes one time to change somebody's opinion. If, if, if you're a person that's like super shy and you never like talking to people, but then one time you have a good experience, you're instantly friends with a, with a new group of people and then, you know, you'll want to be with those people. So I would say just keep fostering it, you know, just keep trying to get people out, keep trying to get people out. And then at one point, like you'll have to, you know, if it keeps happening for like two years, you know, a year and two years, nobody ever comes out to raid. Um, maybe it's time to end it. You could also, one thing you could try is getting people who don't play Pokemon Go to join the community. Like tell your friends that don't play, Be like, hey, come out, play, because that can be better because you already have a relationship with those people. I don't know, just my thoughts. Okay, we're going to do one more here. We're going to do one more. Final question from Zenor Builds. What do you think the best strategy would be for grinding for rural players? For example, no Pokestops and gyms. How would you work around that? That's a great question. A lot of rural questions. We got a lot of rules out here. I would say, number one, you need to nominate. You need to get the stops going. It's really impossible to play Pokemon Go efficiently and grind if you don't have enough stops to spin. So I would definitely say, Try to nominate as many stops as you can. Fill your Pokestops with to the amount. Like, even if you can only get up to, like, 15 stops in the area, that's what I would say. Number two, try to find a loop that you can fill up Pokeballs as fast as possible and then just hit that loop 
for like an hour a day if you can to really stock up your balls. And then from there, the strategy is just gonna be to catch, catch, catch. That's really the best way. Again, at the end of the day, if you're in a rural area, raids are not really gonna be an option for you. Um, I guess research will be kind of an option for you, but you're gonna have limited Pokestops. So catching is gonna be the best thing for you. Luring up a bunch of stops if you can, and then just going ahead and grinding. Also, setting up roots is great as well because you can hit the roots and roots can um, spawn root spawns, which means more Pokemon spawns, especially if you don't have a lot of spawns. Um, but that's what I would say. Anything, anybody else? Yeah, try creating your own Pokestops. That's what I would say. Then you need Pokestops. If you're in a rural area with no Pokestops, you need to nominate them, you need. That's just the only way. You can't, I can't just go to a town with zero Pokestops and just play because I'm gonna run out of Pokeballs. Um, but then on the topic of Pokeballs, actually make sure you open your gifts every single day. Okay, well that's gonna be it for Q&A Q this week. Next week, maybe I'll try to set up a couple questions before, because um, I'm sure there's a lot of other ones, and then maybe I can come back to that video and answer more. But now what we gotta do is find a cliff. So let's see here. We're gonna go, yeah, we're gonna go over here. Hopefully one of those three are a cliff, and then we can go ahead and battle it, and uh, get closer to our Shadow Cowgirl. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk over there. We'll see you in a second. Okay, okay, we've made it. We got eggs. Um, let's hash them. Bang. Beautiful, but welcome. Welcome to City Hall. Well, actually, we've always been at City Hall, but this is the main building behind us. Also, on our right, we have... Let me see if I can show you guys this. We have the Rink of Dreams, which is a little skating rink here where people can skate and do loops, which is cool. So, yeah, that's not, that's not what I'm gonna do today, though. I'm not a, I actually can't really skate, to be honest. It's not my strong suit. Okay, but we are here for one reason, and that reason is not the reason we wanted, because there's no cliff here. Is this a cliff? I guess I'll just go over there. Let's just go. Let's just, let's just walk. Maybe I just won't end the, the, the shot. <sighs> okay, but yeah, what's up, guys? <laughs> no, but actually, this is the Rink of Dreams here which is cool, um, skating rink, especially for when, for when the uh, canal is not open, which to be honest is most of the year. If you don't know the canal, by the way, it's a super long, like 14 kilometer skating rink in Ottawa that you can go on. Okay, but please, this better be a cliff. I hope this is a cliff. Why is it always that there's one leader that you need that you can't find? Cliff, is this you? Cliff. No, it's Sierra. Cliff, where's your, Sierra, where's your brother? Where's the other one? The other one's at this Pokestop, right? Okay. Let's go to this Pokestop. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. It's a pretty nice day, though. I would say for February, the weather is quite sublime. Usually the weather is so much colder in, uh, in February here in, in uh, Ottawa, but I like it, you know? This is, this is the weather I don't mind. Like, this is, I think, what like, winter is like in Toronto. So, I guess Toronto gets pretty cold. Oh, we got another egg. Lick a tongue. Licky, licky. IV check. Nope, not very good. Yes, we found Cliff. We found Cliff. Sick, okay. Let's put the camera down. Okay, sick, we found Cliff. Let's go ahead and battle him. This is quite exciting for us because this means we're very close to finishing this. Oh, by the way, I don't have the heal all button yet. At least when I'm making this video, let's fix this. I don't have the heal all button. Do you have the heal all button? There's supposed to be a update where you can click heal all, but I'm still on this peasant one at a time thing. Whatever, Niantic. I don't need the heal all button. You need the heal all. You need me, Niantic. Okay, cool. Oh. I take that back. I take that back. <laughs> okay, we got Cliff though. Cliff, again, I think pretty weak to electric. It looks like electric Pokemon are doing pretty well this rocket rotation, just based on how um, weak other people are weak to electric. So we're gonna go ahead and take this down. We got a Gallade here. Go with these mirror shots to bait. 
Why did I set this up right by a street? Who do I think I am? We got the attack drop as well, which is actually pretty big. This Magna Zone is actually kind of cooking versus the rockets. Uh, maybe we use it versus the, the Giovanni because it might actually cook. Bro, Magna Zone might get its time to shine because it actually is going to destroy the Shadow Kyogre. I'm going to bring Magna Zone and we're going to let Magna Zone, because of all its effort it's done, we're going to let it land the final blow on uh, Giovanni. Oh, look at that. Farm down before you get farmed down. And then now, double wild charge, bro. Magnezone just swept Cliff. I think. I don't know how much this wild charge is going to do. Oh, maybe not. Okay, let's swap. <laughs> Magnezone, you've done enough. Save that move for later. Bang. Cliff done. Easy. No problem. Also, I feel like it's starting to snow. I can feel it. Whatever. Cliff down, a thousand Stardust. And there you go, defeat Rocket Cliff. Again, all four of them getting completed at once. Can we get a Shiny Shadow? We cannot. Golden Raz, because I uh, have so many and we're just gonna wanna catch this thing as quick as possible. IV check. Ooh, pretty good PVP IVs. Okay, but that means, look, as you can see, all of them are done. I accidentally claimed one of them here. But we're gonna go ahead and claim all this. And what this will get us is Black Rocket Raiders. As you can see here, the, we're getting one Super Rocket Radar. We're going to get two Super Rocket Radar. We're going to get a three Super Rocket Radar. And we're going to get a four Super Rocket Radar. Isn't that nice? So now if you actually check your inventory, I have four Super Rocket Radars, which means I can battle Giovanni four times. Now, um, hello? Oh, you are? How's it going? I'm recording, but come on, it's all right. I don't mind, I can cut this part out. Where do you publish? I, I, I publish on uh, YouTube. Oh, okay. Yes. You're, you're a YouTuber. YouTuber. Future YouTuber. Oh, let's go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Violence. Violence. <laughs> oh, very good. Okay, well, well nice, nice no, no worries, nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, okay, so back to it here. The, um, so yeah, so now you'll see is that all these researches have the task, find the Team Go Rocket boss, battle the Team Go Rocket boss, and defeat the Team Go Rocket boss, right? So all of them are like that. But what you'll notice is that since we have all four of them at the same time, we only have to defeat the Rocket boss once and we will finish all of these researches, which means those researches will be complete. So when the new Giovanni researches comes out, we will get the new Giovanni research. Because if you don't know, you only get the new one if you've either completed the past one or you're still on page one of the past one. So that's pretty much what we're gonna do here. We're gonna go ahead and equip this. We actually have a potential Giovanni. Oh, it's telling me to equip all four. Thank you. Potential Giovanni right here. Don't even have to move. My boy was waiting for me. My boy. Giovanni was waiting for me. He was expecting me. Nice to meet you, Giovanni. How's it going? Okay. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and battle Giovanni now. That's actually really nice. You don't have to go find him. But normally you have to go to Pokestops and click on the Giovannis and they'll potentially be Giovanni or they could be um, decoy grunts. But we found Giovanni first try because, you know, we built different. We built different. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and use a Super Rocket Radar to battle Giovanni. Now, Giovanni is weak to fighting, so we're going to want to bring a Lucario. The Persian is always weak to fighting, um, and Lucario is the best versus Persian because it has the steel subtyping, which means it resists all of Persian moves. We also want to bring a Magnazone because, you know, we promised Magnazone he'll get the final blow. And uh, Giovanni's middle, like all three middle Pokemon, are all weak to ice. So bring in ice type, Mamoswine will cook. We're just going to go ahead and heal up here. And then now we should be able to battle Giovanni no problem. I will say, hopefully we have power up punch on Lucario though, because that's, things could get a little dicey. Now, as you can see here, I led Magnezone because the tip here is swap instantly. Oh, I don't have power punch, that's annoying. You want to swap instantly into uh, Lucario. And the reason you want to do that is um, because it'll stun the Persian at the start, as you saw there. It kind of like, he's like, yo, whoa, 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 bro, why are you doing that? And then he's like, yo, I'm not going to attack for a second. So we're going to go ahead and just throw here. Having power punch on Lucario would be a lot better. 
But as you can see, um, this is not a problem at all because we resist all these moves, so Lucario does no, no problem here. You can use a Machamp or like a Terrakion too, but um, Lucar well, Terrakion is similar because Terrakion resists all the moves. Terrakion might just be better, to be honest. Um, but, you know, we have what we have. So we're going to go ahead and throw this here. He has a Rhyperior in the middle, which isn't great, um, especially if he has a Ground-type move. Hopefully he has Smackdown on this thing. Because he has Smackdown, we should be able to get to an Aura Sphere. Okay, he does, which is amazing. So we get the Aura Sphere off. Now this should be doing super effective damage. Boom! Now we'll swap into Mamoswine. And we're just going to go ahead. Oh, he's going to throw here. Interesting. Uh, we want Magnazone to finish this game off. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to let this go. He's going to debuff himself with Super Power. We're going to come in with Magnazone. We're going to take three Volt Switches to farm him down. And then now, Kyogre, it's time to go to, 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 to bed, bro. Oh my... Oh my god, those waterfalls do a lot of damage. Okay, we're at the back-to-back, -back, though. We're at the back-to-back. -back. Can Magnazone clean it up after doing so much work for us? Boom! And the second wild charge should clean up. The second wild charge should clean up. Boom! Shout out Zionic. Nonetheless, that is it. There you go. Giovanni is now defeated. It's actually, it's pretty easy to defeat Giovanni if you know the... the, the the, the core fundamental gaming mechanics. But as you can see, Battle of the Team Rocket Boss four times completed. We only battled him once. And here we go with our Shao Kauger check. In all honesty, I don't even know what the hundo percent, the hundo is on this, but 901. I think that's actually pretty good. Let's go ahead and catch it. By the way, uh, Giovanni uh, Shao Legendaries are guaranteed catch. They should be, yeah. As long as you hit it. It's like a, it's like a shiny from a raid. Okay, a little extra candy. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Again, I always say, as long as you have like 13 plus attack on a Shadow Legendary, you're cooking. That's great. Okay, and also don't forget, uh, TM it, TM it. Okay, good. We didn't forget to do that. Well, there you go, Shadow Kyogre. There's my Shadow Kyogre. That's it, man. Yo, that's super nice. Okay, and now the final part of this is going to be, you come back in here and you'll see all of the tasks are complete, which means you can now go ahead and claim all of these. So we're going to claim all this, a bunch of rewards. Thank you, Giovanni. You've been great to me. Claim, claim, claim. A lot of, a lot of Pokeballs, a lot of heals. Okay. Claim this. We got a Sableye. We'll catch that. Thank you. A lot of claiming in this video. This video, I've never claimed so much research. And then there you go. The final page of the Shadowy Disturbance is complete. So now that research is complete. We'll complete the showdown in the shadows as well. We got, ooh, the costume Gengar. Oh, I forgot this was, uh, forgot this was from that research. Okay, we'll get the showdown in the shadows. That one is going to go ahead and f get completed. And the shadowy skirmishes, complete that. And that should go ahead and get completed here as well. And then now the only one we have left here is the timeless travels one, but that one, I can, uh, it doesn't require me to battle Giovanni anymore, so I can complete that. But as you'll see here, if I come into my bag, I have three Super Rocket Radars stacked in my bag, but I have no Giovanni researches. So that's like an alternative method to stack your radars. If you plan on battling Giovanni, just go ahead and line up all the Giovanni, like the tasks that say battle Giovanni at once, and then just battle him once and you complete all of them and then you'll finish the researches. So yeah, that's pretty much the strategy. That is pretty much the strategy. Now, before we go, we have two more things to do. Number one, we got to do rate that shiny. So let's go ahead and hop back into the questionnaire, and we're going to rate three shinies that chat, not chat, the comment section recommends. I'm going to go ahead and find this here. Let's see here what shinies people want me to rate. Okay, Amazing Stick says, can you rate shiny Vileplume? I can for sure do that, my guy. Okay, I don't have, oh, I do have a shiny Vileplume. Okay, this is shiny Vileplume. Regular Violet Plume, I believe, is purple on the base and then red on the top. Overall, I think this is not a bad... Oh my god, wow, look how colorful that top is. Overall, I don't think this is a bad shiny. Um, 
I do think they could have maybe done it better. Maybe it's just based on the colors. Um, I think maybe like blue and orange could have been a better color contrast. But I think it's a decent shiny. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. There's a lot worse shinies I think that could be in the game, but Violet Bloom, not a bad one. Not the most amazing shiny ever. It's average. We have Absurb Existentialist. I can't speak right now, my mouth is cold. Saying, can you rate Azumarill, uh, Sableye, and Noibat? We're only gonna rate one of those because I wanna let other people decide. We'll go with the first one you mentioned, Azumarill. Azumarill is a pretty nice shiny. I will, I will say, Azumarill is a nice shiny. Now, comparing it to the regular, Comparing it to the regular, it really it really pops in color. I really love the gold. It's a really nice shiny, man. Um, I do think they could have potentially changed the color of the bubbles. They have like the little bubbles on the Pokemon. Could have been nice if they added another change, like maybe the bubbles went black or something. So I, I don't think it's a perfect shiny, but I think it's up there. Oh, that's pretty tough. I'm gonna give this Mm, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Uh, uh, we'll go, uh, we'll give it a nine out of 10. I wanna be nice today. I think a zoom reel is nice. Again, the only thing, my only critique is that the bubbles could be changed. It's a nine out of 10 for me. It's a nine out of 10 for me. Okay, let's look for one more shiny to rate. The Secret Aaron says you should rate Tyrantrum. Okay, I got you, bro. I got you, I got you. Tyrantrum. <laughs> Yo, you guys are choosing some crazy shinies out here. Okay, Tyrantrum is a nice shiny. It is a very nice shiny. The regular form of Tyrantrum, I don't have one to look at here, eh? I do not. I do not have a regular Tyrantrum to look at. Let me actually evolve. I'm gonna evolve this into a Tyrantrum just so I can compare. I think it'll help me visualize it a little bit better. Evolution, evolution. Okay, there we go. That's Tyrantrum. Okay, 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 okay. I think, so looking at this, we have this shiny version. Blue, beautiful. It's gone with this blue, black, and gray vibe, which I think is beautiful. Um, and then we have this. So this is the original. It's kind of like a red. So this is what I'm gonna say. I really like the palette they went with, the blue. I think it could have been, honestly, any color, any dark color. It could have been like a dark green. It would have been sick, just as sick. I do think though there is potential to change up things like the spikes on the tail, the uh, the mane, I guess you call it, and the beard. I think the color changes could have been, could you could have had some color change, could have made it all black or something. But again, this is a nice shiny. I'm gonna give this one an eight out of ten. Ah, I kind of want to give it a nine out of ten again. You know what? We're being nice today. Going with the big nine out of ten on the Tyrantrum. I'm gonna be a nice guy. You guys are giving me some nice shines straight. Nonetheless, guys, remember, comment below this video your questions. I'll answer them in the next video. And, and also, what shinies I should be rating in the next video. We're gonna do three every single episode here. But there's only one more thing to do, and that's going to be to celebrate this moment by taking ourselves a picture with our shiny Kyogre. You guys are gonna understand what I say, what I mean in a second here. Let me go ahead, let me clip that like that. Now what I've done here today, to commemorate every single episode of this series, I'm gonna try to go ahead and take a Polaroid picture with the best Pokemon we catch during that episode. So I'm gonna bust out the Polaroid camera. I promise, this is the last thing we're doing. <laughs> we got the Polaroid here. I saw, to be honest, I saw this in my, uh, I saw this in my, my, uh, what is it called? My drawer. And I was like, I haven't used my Polaroid in a while. So I've brought out the Polaroid here um, today to go ahead and in honor of every episode, where's the, the, the shutter button? Oh. In honor of every episode, we're gonna go ahead and take a selfie with the best Pokemon we caught. So let's go ahead. Everybody, everybody get in here, get in here. Hey, get in here. I, I doubt you're actually gonna be able to see it, but. There you go. I don't know if I was smiling for that, but we took the photo. Okay, so now while this, uh, while this goes ahead and dries, I don't think you have to shake it, but while this goes ahead and dries, I'm gonna talk about next week, guys, we're gonna have an episode out with Pokemama. Yes, finally, I know a lot of people wanted to see guests on this show. So next week, we're gonna be doing Raid Hour with Pokemama in the Let's Play episode, somebody to chat to. And then the week after that, 
We're going to be with Casual Coops doing hopefully enamorous raid hours. So a lot of fun um, things to be excited for to hopefully spice up this series. But nonetheless, I hope you guys have been enjoying this series. Oh my God. I hope you guys have been enjoying this series. I know it's a nice change of pace. So again, remember to always comment, subscribe, uh, and like, because liking it really helps show me that you guys are enjoying this series um, and it's something you want to see more of. The flash was on. I probably should have not put the flash on. I'm not going to lie. I don't think it worked. <laughs> it's white. I know it takes a little bit of time to develop, but... A few moments later. Oh, actually, oh, it's working. It's working. Okay, well... It's working. Guys, I appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you guys all next week. Fun for just as always. Peace.